Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Gold Paladin 9 Crit Ezel deck. So this deck, I got really lucky because I pulled 3 Ezels and then later on I pulled like a 4th one um, before even hitting Legend 10. So you can see I have the uh, new art now uh, because I did get Legend 10. So on the way to try to get a play set, but I'm not sure if I'll bother this season since I already have four of the original one and the old the original one looks cool i mean the color scheme seems dull compared to the new one um but he seems it's like he's like spinning he's just going off and this deck is all about going off on your opponent like you just go nine crit all in it's a high roll deck but it is so fun and it is a legit way to climb the ladder in zero so for starters we run crimson lion cub this guy is basically what you use to superior ride Ezel. Uh, you want to try to superior ride as much as you can because that gives you access to the twin drive early. Uh, especially if you go first. If you go first, it's a huge advantage because you twin drive early. And that, combined with the fact that we run 9 critical triggers, uh, just improves your chances of just outright winning the match early. Um, there have been some games where my opponent just never had a PG. Um, and they just lost straight up. Uh, and then other, other times they always had the PG. So it can go either way. Um, for great ones, we run two. Player of the Holy Axe, Nimue or Nimue. Uh, some people don't like to run her. They, they run a bunch of like the self damagers. Uh, I like her because she's 7k and sometimes she comes in clutch. I give you the option to extend your attack and... Most of the time, this card will be helpful when you have to ride uh, either Pelinor or Garmor or even uh, the Holy Edge Knight. I mean, sometimes the deck will kind of brick and it'll be hard to recover. So that's why you run cards like this to try to help you still maintain a field. We don't have any draw power, so you do want cards that do have the ability to top deck something onto the field. Next, we run four Sentinels. Those are standard. Uh, you got to run four of the AK Vanilla Gareth because this, along with the 10k Vanilla Grade 2, Knight of Bumains, or Knight of Superior Skilled Bumains, these two together are how you're able to Superior Ride Ezel with the starter's effect. Uh, and then the only other choices for Grade 1, it's really up to you. I like to run only two, Disciple of Pain, Self Damager, but I've seen a lot of people running four of these. Uh, I think five... Limit Break Enablers is good enough. You could run 6 though, so you could drop this down to 1. I like Dendre at 1 because sometimes she just puts in work, shows up, and just gives you a card, right? There are no draw triggers, so she's a free plus 1, potentially free plus 2 on Limit Break skill. So you just call her from Ezel's skill or Vivian's skill or whatever, and then she just like draws you a card. So I like her at 1. I think that's the right number. On to grade 2s. We run Knight of Superior Skills Bumains because uh, it's, uh, you know, you have to run it. It's And it's really cool because it, it does make the deck feel like it has a defensive tank mode because for 10k Vanillas, being able to call them out with Ezel's Limit Break all the time uh, or use this on turn 2 if you're not able to Superior Ride, it's just really good defensive stats for a 10k you know just 10k and this with this is 18 so you're able to hit numbers uh but we run uh three of the self damager because you need you need the ability to go into limit break um and sometimes the opponent will try to deny you the damage like to try to keep you at three damage on purpose oh um, that's why you run these type of cards because it can work around that uh here's where it gets more interesting so for the remaining grade 2 spots, you can run 3 of the Major Calamity Trip, the Unflipper basically, or, and 2 of the Lop Ear Shooter, um, or you could run it in the reverse order. You could run 3 Lop Ear Shooter and only 2 of the Trip. Now originally I was running 3 Lop Ear Shooter because I would go for the, the chance where I don't have Counter Blast to extend my Limit Break skill, um, so I could... I could call this out and then extend the calling from the deck the deck thinning so the deck has really good deck compression with the limit break skill but lop ear shooter allows you to extend even further in the event where you're low on counter blast for whatever reason so that's why i kind of like this at two or three of um, but you do want to run one vivian 
Um, the nice thing about this deck is you only really need one Vivian. You don't need two Vivian or three Vivian. Maybe two Vivian, but definitely not three or four. That's too cloggy. Uh, but you need you need to unflip. Most of the time, your Counter Blast is going to go to Ezel's skill. Uh, so you're going to save your Counter Blast most of the time for Ezel to just go off on the opponent. So that's why you don't need too many Vivian. Because I know there were people in my stream that were asking, why only one Vivian? Well, the reason is because you want to save your... Your counter blast for Ezel. Most of the time, Ezel is going to be the one that needs the counter blast because he needs to call something out to compress the deck down. So you're more likely to hit triggers. That's why we run max crit. Uh, and then on top of that, he gains the power. Vivian won't do that. Uh, but sometimes Vivian will do random things like she'll call like Pelinor, for instance, and then he can superior ride and gain crit and do that stuff but it's it's kind of a gimmicky play but when it goes off and when it's successful uh it's it's really satisfying to see in action so that's the great two line great threes is for ezel for pelinor uh, if you don't have pelinor the good news is you don't have to have pelinor for the deck to still be uh legit good uh, he just helps i mean he's an 11k body uh he's just really really good backup vanguard if you don't have him run garmor at the max copies that's what i would recommend Garmore is still good as a backup. Um, he's definitely for the more budget-oriented build, but he can he can come in handy um, early. Like if you don't have Ezel, you need to ride him, or if you have Ezel but you you don't have limit break and you have two damage, you can use him to like deck thin early. He can call out like a trip or you know any grade two or lower. So it's still a really good card. Uh, and then for the heal trigger, I run Holy Edge Knight because uh, there's a lot of MLB matchups and him this card being able to swing into mlb just 12k without a booster is just still really good he's an okay vanguard um mainly if you ever have to ride him that's the reason why we run uh vivian and this card so you can still be able to potentially deck thin uh, but you don't you definitely don't want to sit on this card if you have to ride this as vanguard so that's the deck uh it's nine crit four draw i mean four heal it's extremely fun uh, some people have, may ask, why don't you run stands? The reason why you don't run stands is because, first of all, you superior ride into Ezel, and that gives you twin drive early, and then, but you don't necessarily have a the capability of building up a board that early in the game. So that way, you want to maximize your crit potential by running nine crits, so you can just deal damage early, and then, you know, try to push for game in the following turns and then when you have limit break then Ezel will just go off and hit huge numbers like I've seen him hit as as high as like 72,000 with three critical I mean it's, it's ridiculous so uh, we're gonna show a demo matchup of how he how the deck plays and hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks I didn't, I didn't even know that was gonna even happen Ooh, this is Beast Deities! Oh, and he goes up with Blau. Why? Alright, uh... We'll go with this. I wouldn't run Crit Narukami. The deck doesn't have any draw power besides Rising Phoenix. Uh, okay. I guess I'll change it over to 9 draw. Yeah. Well, the thing is, Vermilion doesn't have to hit, right? And neither does Dungaree. None, none of their stuff has on hit effects, so I feel like crits could help push damage faster. Ooh, this guy really didn't have any grade ones to commit to the board. That's unfortunate for him. Because we are gonna superior ride. We are bringing out Ezel right now. Let's go. Let's go. Super Saiyan 3 Ezel has arrived. Oh, I don't have any damage though. I wanted to like... <sighs> Alright, here. 1, 7, and 5 would be 12. So I guess we're going to have to do this. 
One to pass. Can we get it? And we got it. Crit. Let's go, boys. Oh, yeah. Has anyone else noticed that? I know exactly what you're talking about. The game seems more unstable. When I was opening packs, like, the game would just go to a black screen for either a super long time where I had to restart the game. Or, uh, it would eventually show up, but it would take a really long time. I just put my grade 3 on the field. I want him to give me damage. I want him to give me the power to limit break and bring this game to an end. This dude is just bricking like crazy. Now if he rides Blau, it's only going to be a 10k Vanguard. Wait, what was that card? That was... What is this? Oh, the 12k thing? Alright, let's uh, let's build some columns. Let's, let's get some damage in here. Uh, I, th I said we do this. Put this here. One. What is this? This is 18. That won't really matter, won't it? 17, 18. I can't form a big... Can't form a big column to him, but we're just going to try to push damage. Because this is this hits over a defensive. All right, one to pass. Let's go. Can we get it? Ah. Oh. We push him all the way to four. He's gonna. What's he gonna do? He's gonna do Blau and Toolkit Boy and like attack and discard too and attack and discard too. Here he goes. He's gonna get his booster. He's a 10k Vanguard. <laughs> He's a 10k Vanguard. But Immunes can poke at him. Immunes can just poke at him. Please ignore my rear guard. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't want him to kill my. I didn't want him to kill my 11k. I need that thing. Because <laughs> if he doesn't give me limit break, I'm gonna need that thing to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. No, I mean, I'm just saying. Like, if he, I don't want him to kill my Pelinor. I need Pelinor. If if I go to four damage, I don't care. He can kill Pelinor, but. Oh, he just threw two draws away. That means he's like throwing his triggers out quick. So he's already out seven triggers. Wow, okay. He's doing pretty good there. That was a one to pass and he got that heal. He's all the way back down to two. He's already out eight triggers though and we're going to three damage. Unfortunately, I'm going to need a... Uh, I'm going to need a self-damager if I want to limit break this turn. And unfortunately, we didn't get it. But that's okay. This is all we really need. Come on, Ezel. Get that let's let's see that double crit. Let's get a heal and a crit or a double crit. There we go. Crit number one. Can we get another one? And we go with a double crit. Let's go. Double crit. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we run nine. Get rid of that sentinel. Now you can't restand. And then if he puts me at four, then we're just gonna go off on him on the following turn. So he's out eight, and I'm out five. Good. He's wasting his attack because. The thing is, he's wasting... I, I want my regard to to live. We'll see what happens here. Now he, it's two to pass. Now it, Okay, that is not going to help him. <laughs> that is probably worse than what he could have done there. Because he could have at least tried to high roll an extra damage. But now, uh, he, he kept me at four. So we're just going to go off. <sighs> here we go. This is it. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get 
Bumains because he's tough. Go ahead and put him here. He'll kill the king. Now we're gonna do it again. Now we're gonna get Vivian. She's gonna go here. She, her and the the, 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 the the musical people are gonna kill that 12k over there. And now we're gonna get another booster. We're gonna deck thin all them out. Get them out. Dendre coming in. Dendre, give me a card. Give me a PG. Let's go. Yes, I called it. I wanted that PG. She gave me that PG. Let's go. This is it. All right, can we heal? Okay, crit. Can we get another one? And we get the heal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 58,000 power with crit. That's what I'm talking about. That's how that's how I play. That's how I get legend 50 every season. He's in trouble. Blau's in trouble. We got a Bu mains. He's got to commit two cards. He wants to run this over because the gold pound's got the tank. The gold pound's got that phalanx, like the like the movie 300. It's the Spartans. The gold pounds are basically the Spartans. Now they're in defensive mode. Now what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do with this? What is he doing? Is he in trouble? I think he's in trouble. He's out three heals and one PG, and Ezel's coming in with those nine crits. He better hope he drew that PG, because if he drew that fourth heal, he's going to be in big trouble. He can't restand because it has a hit of Vanguard. I'm sh I hope he knew that. Alright, can we get a self-damager? No. Okay. No big deal. Uh, let's see what I want to do here. I guess we'll just do this. I love that Ezel can just hit over defensive triggers. That's what's so awesome about him. Alright, can we get that double crit? Okay, let's see. Do you, do you have that 6 damage? Oh, he had the PG. Okay. Okay. He's holding on. Our opponent's holding on. He's out. He's out 10 triggers, though. He's out 7 draws and 3 heals and 2 PGs. We still have all our PGs. And, well, to, from my point of view, two heals, but he thinks we have three heals. Oh, his last heal. And it's, he has no, he needs interceptors. He needs interceptors. He's got no interceptors. Oh, he's going to go for the restand. Oh, there it is. I saw the PG. I saw that. I saw that. That means there's at max in his hand. He could have one right now. And he's not getting that because that's on the bottom of the deck. So let's see. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. So he must have the PG in his hand. But he has no more heal. So, this is what we're going to do. It's time to call it. Call it like it is. Limit break. Keep all those cards in my hand. Give me this thing. And put it here. Alright, let's do it again. Give me a grade 2. Few mains, let's go. Alright, one more, one more. Give me a grade 2. Come on, Ezel. Alright, unflipper, let's go. This is it, boys. This is why I love playing golds. It's just too much fun. Way too much fun. Alright, show me that PG. Good. Alright, show me your 6 damage heal. Actually, you don't have one, so that's gonna be game. Alright. That's 9 crit, Ezel. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, man. <laughs>